That's a gnarly rock. Gnarly rock. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today we are back with another video. It's me. We got Cody. Cody said I should wear my sunglasses all day. <laughs> I have highly contagious poison ivy all over my eye right now. But nevertheless, we are out here. Where are we? What are we doing? Wanted a good fall jig bite, didn't we? We did. We did. After drop shotting all summer and trolling all summer, it's nice when you get into the fall pattern where you're kind of back to spring. You don't have jet skis out, you don't have pontoons out, no wake boats. Not that any of that's wrong. It's all recreation, but it is nice to kind of have the lake to yourself, enjoy the beautiful scenery, and catch. Put a jig in your hand. Yeah. And feel the whack. And feel the whack. So today we are on Mille Lacs Lake. We're actually here yesterday as well. Did a little running around, a little scouting before we kind of filmed a video. Took it easy yesterday. And today we are hoping to get a good video of jigging some walleyes. Now, if you're on some of these big natural lakes in the fall, you can be assured that there will be a shallow water push of fish. What's our water temp right now? Wow, that's warmer than I thought. 64 degree water temp. But when you start getting temps, low 60s, especially into the upper 50s, you're gonna see a very good shallower water jig bite kickoff. So we hope to kind of showcase that today and catch a bunch of walleyes in the process. So stay tuned. We're gonna run around, find some fish, hopefully set some hooks. Boom! All right, I'm a, we have arrived at the location. Big shallow water structures, it's kind of the deal. And a lot of times, shallow is kind of relative lake to lake. Lake you're on shallow might mean less than five feet. If you got some water color in a relatively shallow basin. We're gonna fish a lot of this 12, eight, 13 feet today. The other thing I'll always say about fall, a lot of times when this bite really keys off, shoreline related structure generally gets very good. After generally a long summer of shoreline structure not being very good. So we're gonna dump the live down, hunt through some of these spots and hopefully sharpshoot some of these fish um, with some jigs and plastics. Oh, you're right on them. Don't just sit there, fish. Bite the damn bait. He's tracking, he's tracking, he's thinking about it. Is he? He's saying, dang, that's a good looking jig. There, he just made it. Yeah, he just picked it up. Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> First fish of the day, there we brother. Oh, spot locked down. That is what fall is about, my friends. Walleyes on the jig stick. What do we got? Decent one? Feels all right. Oh, not a bad one to start the morning. I like it, I like it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. If we can do that several times this morning, I'll be a happy guy. And like I said, fall is, I mean, this is what fall is about, my friends. Jigging, shallow water, rocks, weeds, sand, whatever it might be, it is all good with me. Another nice one. Me popped her, huh? Yeah. Popped her on the fall. On the fall, nice healthy fish. Super nice one. Oh, let him go. Oh, yes. Beautiful sight. Boom. Do more. Boom. Oh, dude. Eat it. Eat it. Oh, yes. The excitement, dude. Cody's pitching a minnow right now and a little Google eye. And I'm throwing a plastic. He's had three bites I've had one so far. Mine just totally whiffed on the bait. But there's something special about feeling that tick. And then like, oh, oh, here we go. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Especially when you're giving them just that second to eat it. Yeah, yeah. Another nice fish. Super though. nice walleye, man. I like it, I like it a lot. There we go. Scoop. That's what I'm talking about. One thing about these Mille Lacs fish, they've gotten so fat in the last like couple years it seems like, doesn't it? 
Remember when you catch those ones that have that huge head and like yeah. thinned out body? Yeah, it's not like that anymore. You look at that fish and it's just Built. healthy. Yeah, everywhere nice and around. thick. So. They're obviously eating. Eating jigs right now, that is for sure. At some point here, we'll probably kind of go into a little bit of cadence and things like that. But right now, I'm too uh, riled up, to be honest with you, to talk too much about anything except for just pitching on another walleye. Right there, 60. Oh! Fish on, brother. We're on, boys. I might double up. Might double up here. I'll spot lock us down. I'm slowly trying to figure out a uh, jig color that works. And over the last day and a half, does it not seem like very dark colors? It does. Like uh, for whatever reason, fishing very kind of dark and or neutral colors has kind of been the way to go. And uh, once it gets cold, I'm, I think you'll be able to get a lot more aggressive with things. But kind of seems like for right now. And they're kind of like not just crushing everything in sight. Nice 18 inch or 17 inch right there. And I am fishing an all black quarter ounce kale in the Google Eye with the old green pumpkin colored uh, Jerkmount Jr. And in this clear water, sunny day, it is kind of a nice dark target for him. There we go, buddy. Oh! Fish on! Cody's kicking my butt. What do we got on here? Is it small? does not feel large. It's looking kind of small, but you know, it is another nice walleye. We just made a little move from our first little area we were on. You're a nice little guy. I mean, not bad at all. Anytime you're up in shallow water catching fish like this, they are all welcome. You want me to scoop them with the old net? Yeah. Boom, baby. Look at that. That's like a double. Close, Close enough. enough to a double. Had I talked a little, rambled on a little bit longer, it would have been a double. Or if I'd have cast it in the right vicinity right off the bat. And Cody's got the old gold Google eye on. Pretty simple fish in the fall. It was one of the many nice parts about it is that you don't have to get very complicated this time of year to catch fish. All right, guys, so obviously we're catching fish on jigs. Now, there's a lot of different jigs, and a lot of times the console of my boat looks like this with a pile of jigs and a Red Bull right there. But jigs ranging from stuff like this to stuff like this, to stuff like this, to the hyper rattles, to the blade baits, all of these things you can jig. Big swim baits that look like this, a lot of different options. But really, when do you fish something, you know, let's say like this, a big four and a half inch aggressive swim bait, big thumper paddle tail, to something like this, a small one with a, you know, basically a half crawler imitation on here, or a tiny little swim bait like that a 2.8 inch Cairns tickle tail with a lighter head on it. And it's all kind of dependent obviously on the fish's mood. Now, if you get in an area and you're seeing fish, and I always start aggressive because my favorite thing to do is cast a big heavy thing out and really crack the rod hard and fish it back to the boat. Favorite way to fish. But if you're not getting those big hard whack bites fishing that way, they're not on that presentation. If you're fishing something like a big, huge paddle tail snapping it really hard, and you're watching a lot of fish track the bait back to the boat, or if you're just not getting bit, or if when you are getting the couple of bites you are getting, it's like they're just kind of picking it up off the bottom, and that'd be time to change from something big and aggressive to something smaller. So obviously when you have a swim bait that's built like this, big thick body, big thumper tail, paired with a big jig, that's gonna be an aggressive in your face style of bait right it's going to have a lot of calling power so it's good when fish are very bitey when fish are not bitey and they're kind of halfway on that you can go to something a little bit more like this this is a kalen's tickled tail here swim bait this has a much smaller tail what that allows you to do is fish it much slower you can fish it with a lighter head and you can do a lot more things that look like this right here where you kind of cast the bait out you can do these kind of real small hops like this and the, and the bait and the tail is still going to function now the bait i'm fishing today is a jerk minnow junior very versatile bait that you can snap hard or fish soft now we started out snapping hard yesterday and we just weren't getting a lot of bites doing that so what we ended up doing is a lot more of this you know cast the bait out get it down to bottom and you're almost just kind of like real kind of finesse short hopping it and a lot of times adding in like a a double pop like that instead of just kind of the standard will get you bit but it seemed like they wanted it just kind of worked real short now this bait doesn't have a big thumper tail it's not looking super aggressive it's more so just kind of 
you know, twitching around, hitting bottom once in a while, and staying right in the zone. And that kind of seemed to be a good ticket there. Now, if the fish are just very slow, very lethargic, almost want something like swimmy, lifty close to the bottom, that's when maybe it's a real light eighth ounce jig, which Cody's been catching fish on today and yesterday, and something like this Berkeley flatworm or a Ned Rig style bait, something like that. It is a lot of times a very good option for that style of fishing. So it's all dependent on kind of what the fish are doing. Normally I start aggressive and kind of work my way back. Colors, a lot of times, um, I like a lot of natural stuff in a lot of bodies of water. Arkansas shad, which is kind of a classic, oh, it's a popular color. What'd you have happen? Loon. Oh, loon almost Dude, got I felt Cody's the tick and I like set the hook, nothing. I reeled up and then loon popped up right here next to the boat. <laughs> you got any good loon tips? <laughs> so it's really all up to kind of what the fish are doing. Most time I'll start aggressive and kind of work my way back, both with bait choice and the cadence in which I'm using. Today we're fishing a lot more subtle than I normally would on a lot of bites, but seems to be what the fish want. So in a short amount of time, that's kind of how I pick and select both the cadence and the bait I'm fishing with. Oh, oh dude, just about Fell off my chair on this. So excited for you to set the hook on that one. <laughs> There's like nothing a like a one. jig bite. There is nothing like a jig bite. Oh yeah, much better fish. Real nice one? Yeah. Bring him here, buddy. Bring him here. Oh, look at that guy. Dude, they're all over him now. Just made a little move. One thing in the fall, if you're on these big shallow flats, you're just not seeing fish. It's not because you're there and you're not seeing them. They just ain't there. But this one, this little spot, they definitely got the correct attitude on. We'll take them. Stocky healthy. fish, man. They're super healthy looking. Yeah. And this was exactly, oh, dude, he is pissed off. This is exactly what we wanted to do today. You on him? I think so. You vibing that cast? Got him on. Oh, oh, two of them out there. One of them bit. Spot locked down. Plastic's just coming through for me all of a sudden. Feeling nice, feeling nice. I mean, dude, they're all really solid fish. Yeah. And they're pissed off up here. Boom, baby. It's definitely something a guy doesn't need live to come and do either. No, 100%. Obviously, we're fishing off a of live sonar right now, but as Cody said, and I think oftentimes people forget, it's just the way I enjoy fishing. I feel like I, I learn a lot by watching the fish, but I mean, how many years did we just do this off side imaging? Oh, forever. forever. You know, a lot of times, like back then, it was just fishing like the biggest rock that you saw or something. Yeah. Something of that sort where it had a little bit more structure. Hopefully, Cody's audio is still working, but it's kind of if you're fishing solid rock, there's kind of two ways we'll do it a lot just with side imaging. A lot of times you'll see fish on a sand or rock transition, or when you cruise through a spot, you'll just mark through, like the mark like little crowns. And then you'll just go through and make three, four pitches right on those crowns. You don't get bit on the next one, on the next one. We're basically doing the same thing with live. We're just pulling up to these little sweet spots and these shoreline flats, making a few pitches, you know, where we're seeing a few fish and then just rinse and repeat pretty much. Oh, Mr. Walleye, the boat keeps a rocking. Go, Tommy. He's on. Feels like a good one, too. Does it? I Decent. That. I was just reapplying my Benadryl to my face. Your itch ointment? My <laughs> itch ointments. <laughs> you never leave home without a good itch ointment. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, man. It is what it is, though. You know, the guy's walking around in the woods trying to find a dang white tail, and he gets a little itch on his face. Quick little thumbnail picture, Boop. and back she goes. Nice fish though. Yeah. I mean, they're all nice fish. If you want to catch a lot of walleyes this time of year, 
this is the pattern. Boys and girls. Ladies and gents. That is a wrap on today's quick little video. Quick little morning video, caught a whole bunch of walleyes. Kind of slowed down though, didn't it? Yeah, definitely did. When I went and switched out of the south and picked up. Yeah, we had like a big wind switch all of a sudden. Interesting to note, a little change is how it affects fishing. But hope you guys enjoyed this one. Quick little morning fishing mission on Mille Lacs, jigging shallow water walleyes. Mission accomplished, I would say. I would say mission accomplished. Now we're off to unnamed location right now where we hope to rinse and repeat, maybe even in a little bit shallower water and absolutely catch a mountain of fish. Yeah, I'm excited for the next lake. So stay tuned, we're on a little, just quick little the spree of the moment road trip through the great walleye fishing state of Minnesota. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more content. If you're not subscribed, please do that. And we'll see you guys next time.